Hello, I've had a couple of requests asking me to do a tutorial to show um, how I did this, which is a double stamping technique where I stamp twice with the same image and I fill it in um, the first time and then stamp over it again to get this dual layered sort of effect. The first thing you do is stamp your original image. I'm going to use Pure Ice uh, Silver Mercedes. I'm going to use the small stamper so that I can get a little bit more precision with the image. And there is my image along with the cat hair. Gotta love my kitties. Okay, so first I'm going to put it on the nail where I want it to be. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my polish that I want to fill it in with and dab it onto a piece of plastic. Then I'm going to use a little brush like this, very, very small and fine. And I'm going to use that to paint the nail polish onto my image. But what I'm going to do is thin this out just a little bit with acetone so that it doesn't dry quite as quickly. And I think you can probably do this with polish thinner too, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to use some acetone. And then I'm just gonna paint in here on my image, fill it in, and sorry this is taking a little bit longer than it would normally take me because I'm doing it at a weird angle for the camera. And it's a little bit rougher than it would normally be. But there we go. So I've painted, and you can see that actually that didn't take very much polish at all. So I put a lot more polish than I actually needed. That's going to dry pretty quickly, but you maybe want to wait about 30 seconds. Then when it's dry, you get your second color. For my second color, I'm using China Glaze. And this is brownstone. So China Glaze is brownstone. Okay, so here is the tricky part. What you want to do is try to get this lined up so that your this matches your original stamp. And what I do is just try to get the edge, the one edge, to where it lines up, and I press into the stamper a little bit until it almost matches up but doesn't quite touch. That way if I get it kind of wrong I can pull it back and I haven't wasted the image. And then I roll it over, kind of paying attention to make sure that the image is rolling in the right direction. It is a bit tricky so you might want to practice a couple of times and definitely what you want to do the first time you're trying to do it for real is put a coat of top coat on over your base polish so that if you mess it up you can take some acetone and swipe really lightly across it, pull off your stamping um, polish, and try again without having to repolish the entire nail. But there you go. It's a pretty simple technique. As long as you have a small brush, it's not that difficult to fill it in. You don't have to be super precise. If you look, you can see that I didn't get it perfectly. But you know what? From far away, you can't really even tell. And if somebody's going to get up that close to your nails, well, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but um, so pretty fast, pretty easy technique. Um, the toughest part is rolling on the stamper and just practice a little bit with that. And it, it's actually easier than it looks if you practice a little bit. Okay, I hope this was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching.